Hey, hey, John here, and welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. I got another trip through bits and buttons. Even if it's just a week or two apart, every time I come in this store, I see a bunch of new stuff, vintage and modern. And let me tell you, some of the vintage stuff I see in these in this store when I come in, it just blows my mind because there's things sometimes that I didn't even know I wanted and I see it and I suddenly I want it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's take a look. We got some great Star Wars items in here today. Really nice collection of action figures. Some are really at decent prices. He's got a prototype Mace Windu in there. Modern Mace Windu prototype. Pretty cool to see that. A lot of really cool figures in here. Always a nice selection of Star Wars figures at Bits and Buttons. Yeah. I love seeing them. I mean, even though I've got everyone, I just like seeing them. I, I just enjoy looking <laughs> at Star Wars figures no matter what. We got some graded figures in here. A couple rums. Ewoks. We've still got this graded two-pack with uh, blue snags in them. We got a Thrawn... Lego minifigure. What? Kennard? Why isn't it Left Coast Graphics? Come on. Yeah, these things should be from Left Coast, not from Kennard. Sorry. Nice packaged figures, and he had some very reasonable prices on these packaged figures. There's a couple of them in here that I, I might actually consider buying, because, uh, like I said, I've been seeing some of these prices come down on on uh, original packaged uh, Star Wars figures and down to a prices that are very affordable. I think this is going to be a good time to start getting into collecting carded figures if you haven't started already. That's the exact IG-88 that I already have with the Revenge of the Jedi sticker on it. Ooh, there's a Yoda mug topper. <laughs> Yoda, Yoda, Yoda. A Yoda standee in the corner. There's Yoda stuff everywhere. I try I try to get some of the Yoda stuff that's on display and like the standee and there's a large size Yoda up above in another spot and he doesn't want to sell them. So not even to the biggest Yoda collector in the in the country. So I I don't know if I'm really the biggest Yoda collector in the country, but I want to say I am so that I get all the Yoda stuff. <laughs> Cuz someday maybe I will be. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Nice G.I. Joe vehicles in here. There's some cool stuff in here. I love the way that they've done these acrylic displays for the for the G.I. Joe vehicles and figures. Some of these are really cool, but... I mean, when you display them like this, it just jacks the price up, you know? But, I mean, there's no doubt those are awesome ways to display them. Tons of G.I. Joe loose figures. There's a Defiant up here. Oh my gosh. Pretty yellowed, but just seeing a Defiant, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Got some later things, the Locust and other stuff. There's a, there's a uh, Cobra Worms up there and a Terror Drome. Some small play sets here. Nice stuff, the Slam, Python Patrol. And here is the International Heroes pack that I just bought. Literally just got this pack. The Malloway Brazil, and he's got it graded in a case here. They graded it in 8.5, I think they graded these. So mine would have to be absolutely mint. He put that graded set at $400. So... Still, any way you look at it, I paid a hundred bucks for mine, and it's still in the mail away. So, um, yeah, any way you look at it, I got a pretty damn good deal. He's got a lot of those these rare, awesome Brazilian versions of the figures in here, and uh, it's really cool to see a lot of these on display. I mean, some of the stuff I just started getting into with GI Joe and getting these. The ones from other countries that are colored differently and everything. 
and it's neat to see a store, a local store, who's also doing the same thing and trying to get these obscure varieties, the rare versions, and uh, have them for sale in a store. It's really cool. I considered getting this Mamba down here because we just found out I have some of the missiles for it. And uh, it's a decent price for that thing. I think he wanted like 70 bucks. It's a really nice price for that. Yeah, some really great stuff in here. I did pick up a G.I. Joe figure, I think, while I was in here. It's hard to walk away without getting a G.I. Joe. He's got them anywhere from $9.99 and up. So um, it's always possible to find a reasonable figure. And one that you need because he's got so many of them. It's really cool. Nice Star Wars stuff. And we got, look at this. <laughs> a green 3D printed version of of uh, the droids here. We've got some cool... There's some cool Star Wars droids that are 3D printed life-size around this, in this store. We'll take a look at them as we come across them. But it was really cool to see K2SO as a green 3D printed version. Some awesome figures of Lone Ranger and Scout. Indiana Jones in the packaging. Old Ghostbusters stuff. Cowboys. Sectars. Police Academy, Mindy from Mork and Mindy. Toxic Crusaders. Some really cool stuff. Exo Squad. Captain Planet. Thundercats. Rambo. Dick Tracy. Lots of Ghostbusters things. Masters of the Universe. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Cabbage Patch Kids. There's the Yoda I was talking about. Some more Masses of the Universe stuff. Some high-end collectibles in here. Princess of Power, She-Ra and them, you know. Really cool stuff in here. Another Captain Planet thrown in the middle. The meteorbs, remember those? They looked like dinosaurs that turned into rocks. <laughs> it was like, what? That was a Masters of the Universe thing? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I, look at the old sword. Really fun. And then we've got these things. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of stuff in this in this cabinet that I'm just like, look at this Glamour Girls Firebird. I kind of want it. I really did. If it, if the price was cheaper, I probably would have walked away with that because I love car, like cars, toys, car toys, you know, from that era. And that's just so cool to see that. Betty Boop, Flintstone, some of the Flintstone stuff caught my eye. Love to have some of that stuff. More E.T. things here. These Snoopy racers, they really caught my eye. They're here on the side if we turn. Here we go. Snoopy Jump Cycles. I was just like, whoa, those are cool. I want to get those. Some of this uh, Burger King and McDonald's paraphernalia really caught my eye. There's a lot of stuff in here I would love to have. I just don't have an infinite budget, so I couldn't buy it all. Rice Krispie guys. Doll, it's like Snap in there. You know, there's Fruit Loops and... Crackle, I think, is up there. So we got Snap and Crackle. We need, we'd need Pop if we bought those two. I've got the Fruit Loops one, thanks to Chris at One Thousandth Ghost. Muppets, we've got some Muppet stuff up here. Really nice looking. I like the Kermit the Frog. These bears with spinny globes things on their nose. I remember them and the girls there. I remember a lot of these things, but I don't know what they were. Then we've got uh, strawberry shortcake in the boxes and their play sets and everything. The grandstand band. Look at that little baby murmuring. Care Bears. There's some really old Care Bears in here. And some obscure things too related to the Care Bears. Amazing stuff. I'm really... 
I was like, where do you find some of this stuff? Like, I didn't even know some of this stuff existed. Or, like, could still exist, you know? And it's like, who's coming in here and selling them this stuff, you know? Barbies and things. More Barbie and stuff. We got the strawberry shortcake cycle. Look at Dopey and Sleepy up there. Oh, man. Wuzzles. Remember Wuzzles? Wow. And there's a My Buddy. My Buddy and Me. <laughs> uh. Wow. The Electronic Command Center from Jurassic Park, the original. That's so cool. Got some turtle stuff in here. I'll show it off. I don't know. I'm just not not a big Turtles guy. There's some uh, weird crossover things with Masters of the Universe in here. Turtles and Masters. There's a few Gargoyles characters just thrown in here once in a while too. And then we got some uh, Hot Wheels and cars. And more Turtles. Alien Queen Hive. Dick Tracy stuff. Roboforce. Flintstone Kids. Look at that. That's an awesome set. Captain Power stuff. So cool. Princess of Power. Crystal Castle in the box. We've got Beetlejuice up there. Pee Wee Hermans. Yeah. Cool stuff. Nice vintage Transformers. Jason the Wheeled Warriors. Gobots, Transformers, Japanese robots, all kinds of stuff in here. This cabinet is like robot heaven. Battletech stuff. There's even some like armored tactical staff. Those are like Japanese knockoffs of, of uh, Transformer guys. Or could be Japanese originals because technically America knocked off all the Japanese stuff. Hasbro took those uh, designs from Diaclone and Machine Robo and things like that. So there's a robotics thing right here. Pretty cool. Me Grimlock. Yeah, some really good stuff in this cabinet. Go in the other room. We got 90s Heaven. I just, I, I was drooling over a lot of this stuff. The Bat Cave Command Center. From Batman the Animated Series. The Pee Wee's Playhouse play set. We got some Robocop stuff up there. Really cool. McDonald's. <laughs> the Shadow. Shadow knows. He knows. E.T. Dick Tracy. Peanuts. Kung Fu Panda. Combat Commandos. I'd love to get some of those. Pirates of Dark Water, Wizard of Oz, Tick, Real Monsters, Indian, Old Indiana Jones stuff, Captain Planet, Sequest, Laser Force, Robocop, Eagle Force, Mario Brothers. I don't even remember the, some of the stuff being in the Mario Brother movie. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. There's some things here that, like, someday I've got to go, okay, I'm just going to buy what they have of, say, Sequest and just get that and walk out the door, not get anything else. Because it's hard to stick to one thing in here. You get distracted. Tales from the Crypt Keeper, some awesome Star Trek stuff. Waterworld. There's figures from Smallville, Heroes, The Grinch. It just blows your mind, like, what's in here. Congo, Last Action Hero, Swamp Thing. And you just want to buy, like, I want to buy the whole run, you know. James Bond Jr., look at this all, you know. thing with Congo is I have most of the figures. There's one or two I need, and I don't remember which ones they were. But Last Action Hero, F Future War, Terminator 2. I'd love to get all these figures. Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Toon Sylvania. <laughs> That's a good one. More Robocop stuff. 
Jurassic Park original things with cards. E.T. You can get Gertie. Aliens vs. Predator. More alien figures. Beetlejuice figures. Look at that. Oh. They're so cool. Puppet Master. Monster Force. There's some good stuff up here. This is crazy. And a lot of things I would love to buy if I could. You know, I just... I was dying. Barnyard Commandos. Remember those? Savage Mondo. <laughs> look at these. Look at these boxed vehicles and things. He's got tons of them. Robocop. Predator. Aliens. This Lost in... Uh, Lost... Land of the Lost. Boulder Bomber here. Lots of good stuff here. On this side we've got some DC going on. Old classic DC things. And I like how he's got the store separated too. We'll move that Star Wars thing back for him. The penguins. I love those. Penguin commandos. Some of this animated stuff like Mask of the Phantasm is really cool. I'd like to have that in actual figure. There's a lot of this 90s stuff that I, I really believe has not just come into its own yet. And give it another, I keep saying it, give it another couple years and some of this stuff's going to skyrocket. I really think Batman the Animated is, uh, oh yeah, we ran into these, he just got these in, the five Spice Girls. And I just found out from looking at Chris's that there's alternate uh, uniforms for these. Because he's got, Chris 1000th Ghost has some, and they their accessory is a small version of themselves, and they have different outfits on, um, so that's kind of weird. Daily Bugle playset, we've got Planet of the Apes playset, the beach playset, wrestling up there, and here's a, a battle droid 3D printed, life size, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We got Marvel here going on forever. It's got all these cool figures from Marvel. I'd love to have... I don't know if I got the black suited Spider-Man in that box. A lot of Toy Biz stuff here. The Brood. He's got the Kingpin down there. I don't know if I have the Kingpin. I'd love to get this Weapon X facility thing, but it's 165. I don't know if I have the, the Spider Man Tri Slayer card. Car, sorry. What am I saying? Oh, here's the Snoopy jump cycle again. I just had to throw that up there. Mork and Mindy up close. Yeah, I went back and looked at a few items. That I was trying to decide if I wanted to get or not. And then I picked up Tunnel Rat. Ver another version of Tunnel Rat. This one is complete with a sound backpack. You push the buttons and different sounds come out. Like machine guns and he says something and stuff. But I had to get... I want to get all the versions of Tunnel Rat now. So this was a version I didn't have. So I figured I'd pick them up. Since they had them and they had them complete... Cadillacs and dinosaurs. We've got uh, Hannah here. Now I want to get uh, more of the Cadillacs and dinosaur figures. I'd really like to get the dinosaurs themselves. I think the um, this is a really cool line. It was an interesting cartoon. I recently just watched the cartoon and I had a lot of fun checking this thing out. So... Uh, I really want to get into more of these. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs is set in the Xenozoic era, the 26th century, where humanity must rebuild civilization in a world where dinosaurs rule the wilderness and lawless bands of criminals prey on the weak. A world where Jack Cadillac Trenick battles the evil poacher Hammer Tyroon in his classic 1953 Cadillac convertible. Collect them all. Yes, you can get the Triceratops named Snake Eyes. And these are exact... 
figures of the Dino Riders. Hermes, Zeke, the Cadillac, the Contrasaurus. A couple other cool vehicles. And there's even a place out of Jack's Garage. And then you got a lot of figures. There's, uh, what, uh, six humans and two small animals. The pterodactyl guy and the, and the raptor. And then you've got the, like I said, the two small vehicles and one big one. And then there's two bigger dinosaurs. Hannah Dundee is a scientist and diplomat from the nearby city of Wasoon. She's been sent to the city in the sea to set up trade relations. She teams up with Jack Tenerick, armed with her double-shot crossbow to do battle against those who want to destroy science and nature. What? And then I picked up Nord, one of the Waterworld guys. Nord is a figure I needed for my Waterworld collection. And uh was very happy to find him carded and intact. There's a little bit of stuff on the back of the card here I've got to uh, clean up. Waterworld, in the future, the earth is covered with water and the sun beats down on Waterworld. The people of the Ant Atoll cling to life, constantly threatened by smokes, the crazed pirates of the flooded world. Only one hope remains, a lone hero called the Mariner. Join him if you dare in his courageous search for dry land. You can get a couple of Thunder Skis here. You got a Berserker Rider on a Thunder Ski and Wave Ripper with, with Mariner. We've got the Trimoran, the biggest vehicle in the set. And uh, we have a bunch of figures here. Uh, there's uh, Deacon and Bola Attack Mariner, Nord. There's a Hydro Stinger Mariner. There's an Atoll Enforcer and the Power Bow Mariner. And as you can see, like I said, the card needs to be cleaned a little bit. I might be able to clean that up. And if you're wondering about the Trimoran, I have mine right here. Let me move my Adventure People guy out of the way here for just a second. You can see this box of the Trimoran a little bit better there. And then we've got the Trimoran itself sitting right here with uh, Deacon. And there's a Wave Rider Enforcer. And, and Mariner with his rocket blast gun. Deacon's falling off here. Let me fix Deacon. I can uh, get him more situated here. I don't know why Deacon's got this giant pack thing on. But whatever. It's, it's, his, it's probably what's weighing him down and causing him to fall over at times. But this Trimoran is an awesome vehicle. It's got nets on it, three skis, a giant uh, sail that works, and a windmill thing that works. Got a an elevator and crankcases, weapons, guns that shoot, all kinds of cool stuff on it. I love it. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here. Hope you liked this little tour of bits and buttons and what they got in recently. And hope you liked the pickups. What's your favorite item you've seen in the video so far? Let me know. What would you have picked up if you were in the store? And uh, do you like what I got? Do you like Cadillacs and Dinosaurs? You into Waterworld? What do you think of the original G.I. Joe figures? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to get a conversation going with you. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. I'm John, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Stay awesome out there, everyone.